So today's video, we are concentrating solely on WAN chain. We're gonna check out their chart, go over a little bit of the price action, then check out our very first entry in the coin score sheet. Super excited to bring this to you guys. Was up all night with Stefanos and Joshua going over this, trying to figure out how to score this. And I really hope you love this work and what we've done so far. Here we go. Hey there YouTube and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Again, you don't understand how excited I am to show you the, I guess you could say completed version of Wayne Chain on our coin score sheet. Joshua, who's in Discord, Stefanos, as you guys know, my partner in Altcoin Picks, we stayed up fairly late trying to complete the score sheet, figuring out as much as we could and comparing it to Ethereum. Now Ethereum on here isn't as detailed. It was a super quick ad just because I kind of wanted to see where they both sat. So of course, once we go over this, any suggestions, recommendations and feedback is greatly wanted. I would love your feedback. That is my main goal here because I want to make the, the coin score sheet as amazing as possible, as helpful as possible and make it as widespread as possible. So. With that being said, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We finally hit 8,000. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. And of course, don't forget to smash that like button. So, WanChain or FOMO City. <laughs> As you can see, the last three days have been ridiculous for this coin. I guess you could say actually it's been pretty ridiculous for all coins. Most coins have gone up around 10 to 20%. We'll see what happens. Is this a bull trap? I'm hoping it's not. It looks like the market is finally doing something but with wan chain if you were to have bought when i did my top three coins to buy in this bear market you would have got it about forty thousand sats i believe maybe forty two thousand. it got all the way up to eighty five thousand sats actually more than that around there you would have doubled your money in just around two weeks assuming you would have sold at that eighty five thousand sat mark now Obviously, people have taken a bit of profit. We're at about 74,000 sets, but that was completely expected. Nothing goes up forever, right? With that being said, I'm hoping that WanChain does a significant drop again, even if Bitcoin goes up. So I'm, what I'm looking at here is the sets. So if it hits around 40,000 sets, I am going crazy, going huge jump in. If not, I have a significant spot. It's not a big deal. Remember, WanChain has huge potential. So if you don't have any, do your research. Decide if you think this project is worth the jump in. It's from here, times 10 is 6 billion. That's that's not easy to hit. So really do your research and decide. So with that being said, let's check out the coin score sheet. So here we go. The coin score sheet. We have Ethereum, which is partially completed, and then WanChain. And you can tell by the colors. Blue means partially complete, green is completed, yellow means still a lot of work to be done. So we have the multiplier score, almost FOMO score, they kind of give an idea of if we should invest in this one or not. Then we have a project score, which this is looking over the team, the advisors, the project type, the impact, if they have a working product, partners, competition, roadmap, and if they have any red flags. We're going to give you a little bit of details of those red flags. And I'm telling you, this is a super detailed, this took us a lot of time to go over and try to find every little detail to put on a chart so you guys can, can just see it all in one spot. So we have their market cap, token price, their all-time high, percent from all-time high, their volume, the top exchange that this coin is on right now. I have Binance as green because that's the main exchange that most of us are trading on. And then KuCoin is yellow, that's kind of the second exchange for now. Next, we have their circulating and total supply, and then that percent that is in the market right now. Then this is where we start on the project score. So we have the team. And as you can see, Ethereum got an A+, WanChain got an A. I don't think many people would argue with Ethereum score. Now with WanChain, the way we're doing this for every token to try to be as unbiased as possible, we're looking at their top five people. In my opinion, the whole team doesn't need to be reviewed here because... The top five people are probably going to be the ones making the decisions and deciding if the project succeeds or not. And a lot of times we're going to be looking at the CTO, CEO, the president, or just the top people overall. We looked at Jack Liu, Dustin Byington, Ying Zhang, Weijia Zhang, and then Da Peng Hu for WanChain. And they ended up getting an A, 
which is a great score. This is going to be super hard to get good scores here, and you'll see it the further we get along. Next, we have advisors, and this one we look at their top three because I don't want to rate all the advisors. I, I know some of them might have a lot of input and a lot of value to bring to the team, but we got to pick a number, and three is what we did. And they got an A. Ethereum got an A+. Plus. Next, we have their project type. This doesn't go into the score, but it's a very, very sm quick, detailed description of each project. Then we have the impact, and this is probably the second most important part of the project score for our sheet. And we're just checking to see how impactful is this project to the market and just possibly to the world in general. Next, we check if they have a live or working product, which both have them in live. Obviously, Ethereum is much further along than WanChain. After that, we look at partners. Ethereum is like the gold standard here. Ethereum and Ripple, they have Bank of America, Google. They have so many big names. WanChain only got a B minus here, and this is one of their lower scores, and that's because they're really with Icon, Aeon, and Kyber Network. That's really the the grasp of their, their partners right now. Now, of course, they can get more partners later, and this will evolve with that. Now, competition, this is also the lowest part of their whole entire score. Competition, this is just showing that Ethereum is number one in terms of all the platforms competition, while WanChain isn't as far along. They've had their main net, so they're getting about an average score, kind of the same as Icon, Neo's further ahead, they have ICOs going on, etc. And as you can see here, we have filled out some of these other parts <laughs> of course super far from being done after that we have the roadmap so with that ethereum gets a c because they don't really have as much going on right this second now of course they have ico after ico after ico coming out but that's not driving the price at all while wan chain does have the mainnet 2.0 coming out and then ico is about to come out and they have none right now so this could really affect just the project in general after that we have a really cool stat one that is one of my favorites, actually. It doesn't affect any of the scores, at least right now. The website hype. So we got a website, and we're taking the numbers from there, showing their daily views for the web's website. So wanchain.org, Ethereum's website, and all of them, every coin has theirs right now. You can kind of see Neblio slacking here. <laughs> you can see their daily views. I don't think you'll find that in very many other coin score sheets. Next, we have their red flags. So I couldn't find any for Wenjin. I know in the past they had a few, but we're not looking at the past. We're looking at now and in the future. Ethereum has one, and that's the possible congestion. We dealt with it once, and I don't think it's completely solved yet. So that's a red flag. And you get a very small negative point if you have one. And 5, 10, it just increases the negative points you get for that. With that being said, WanChain gets an 87% for the project score, while Ethereum gets a 94%. Let me know if you agree with those scores or what you think. So now for the multiplier score, again, this is kind of like a FOMO score. Should we invest in this project? We're looking at the market cap. How much potential do we think they can actually hit? We're looking at the percent from all-time high. So it's something like, let me see, Dragon Chain, 83%. They're going to get a lot of points for that. Wow, 12% they wouldn't. Now, Wan Chain, if it's under 30%, I'm kind of giving them a default score because that usually means that the project is brand new, especially in this bear market. After that, we look at their top exchange, and they're going to get points for this. Now, if they're on Bitfinex or Binance, they're going to get top points here. And then KuCoin, they're going to get less points, and etc. Those are really the three that we're looking at. I would love your suggestions on what do you think decides a coin's multiplier potential. With that being said, WanChain got a 96% on this, and many of you might agree on this. The potential for WanChain to like times 10 is definitely there while ethereum times 10 is 490 basically 500 billion dollars that's a lot of money and it would be very hard to hit at least in the next year so they got a 57 percent. i think these scores are very accurate let me know what you think that's my coin score sheet we're going to fill out these coins as soon as possible so that we can give you our scores on each and every one of your favorite coins and I am so excited to continually update this and just do video after video giving you all the information possible.
If you want to get access to this, you have to be in my Discord, be active, and become an MVP. Those are the individuals that get access to this sheet 100% of the time, 24-7. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of our new and updated coin score sheet. I hope this is something we can move our channel in that direction and it becomes big, something like Ian Bellina's ICO score sheet. That's my plan, that's my vision, and I hope it happens. With your help, I think it can really, really rock it and, and just get the exposure that we all want. Thank you so much. Don't forget to smash that like button and of course, subscribe. Let's try to get to 9,000 next. That's our next goal. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.